Hello, Namaste and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shahana. As an Indian growing up, I always felt a strong connection to Russia. It's just not me who is saying this. There are many Indians who feel the same. But I noticed one thing that my Western friends don't share this connection. So I decided to research and find it out why. Why do Indians feel a special connection to Russia that Westerners don't seem to share? Is there a cultural divide between India and the West that explains the differences in attitudes towards Russia? So watch this video till the end as I will analyze these questions. Believe me, this is going to be an interesting topic that touches upon culture, history and geopolitics. And we will try to explore it from different angles. Join me on this journey as we will explore today's hot topic. First, let's establish some background information. Russia is a vast country in Eurasia that has a rich history and culture as well as a prominent role in world affairs. However, the relationship between the West and Russia has been marked by tensions and conflict for many years. There are several reasons for this. Firstly, there is a long history of geopolitical competition between Russia and the West, particularly the United States, because during the Cold War, the two sides were engaged in a bitter struggle for global supremacy, which has left lasting scars on people and the world. Secondly, Russia's actions in recent years have been seen by many in the West as aggressive and destabilizing. For example, the annexation of Crimea in 2014 and if you see in present scenario, Russia's invasion in Ukraine have been widely criticized by Western governments which has deepened the hostility between them. Not only this, Russia's involvement in the Syrian conflict has also been a source of tensions with the West accusing Russia of supporting the Assad regime and carrying out air strikes on civilian areas. Furthermore, Russia has been accused of interfering in the democratic processes of Western countries, including the 2016 US presidential election and the Brexit referendum in the UK. This has led to heightened suspicion and distrust between Russia and the West. This is why West don't seem to share the same connections. On the other hand, Indians have generally maintained a positive attitude towards Russia despite some ups and downs in the bilateral relations. Many Indians admire Russia's achievements in science, tech, arts and sports and see it as a friendly and reliable partner. But why is that so different from the West? perspective. There are reasons for India's affection towards Russia. Let me start with the historical factors with Russia. India and Russia share a deep and long-standing historical relationship that date back several decades. They have shared cultural ties for centuries with both countries being home to rich traditions, arts and literature. Russian literature and philosophy, particularly the works of Leo Tolstoy and Fyodor Dostoevsky have been widely read and appreciated in India. Similarly, Indian music and dance, particularly classical forms such as Bharatnatyam, Kathak, and Odissi have gained popularity in Russia. If we see politically, trust and mutual interests are the base of India's relationship with the former Soviet Union or Russian Federation. In the years after independence, India gained industrially from the USSR, which provided a base for its future growth. Starting in the 1950s, India received from the Soviet Union generous assistance for its industrialization. Its development in the areas of defense, space and atomic energy had Soviet capital and know-how India was short of capital capital, foreign exchange and technology, which Soviet Union filled the gaps in India's development story, letting India pay for projects in rupees through a special arrangement. This was a time when India's economy was not that strong and also not open economy. Therefore, India got reliable, affordable and good quality military supplies and crucial products like oil and oil products, fertilizers, metals, etc. India's emerging public sector was scripted with Soviet help. India's relationship with the USSR helped India in many ways to become more self-reliant. If you see, during the Cold War and non-alignment decades, India was dependent on the USSR on strategic issues such as Jammu and Kashmir problem. Support of Soviet Union has been behind India's space, technological and nuclear advancement. And the major shift starts both signed the Indo-Soviet Friendship Treaty of 1971 in the wake of 1971 Indo-Pak War where Russia supported India while the US and China supported Pakistan. This supplied the framework to deepen the cooperation. Military technical cooperation has indeed been at the center of this bilateral relationship. In the 1990s, in the wake of USSR's integration and rising alliance in Russian foreign policy orientation. Russia looked up 
to the West and cuts its third world engagements. It started on a difficult transition to a market economy to become a normal capitalist nation like the Western countries. The decline of Soviet military industrial complex, its shock therapy for transition to capitalism forced by the geopolitical developments led to change in content of bilateral relations and the two countries drifted apart for some time. However, the two countries have remained friends during the turbulent decade of 90s and later and the two countries also collaborated on several important international issues such as disarmament, non-proliferation and the establishment of a new world order. I think many of you may not know what is this new world order, right? So it's not that complex to understand. New world order refers to a global system of governance and cooperation. For example, the United Nations, World Bank and International Monetary Fund are institutions that represent the new world order. The second reason is strategic interest. India and Russia share a long-standing strategic partnership that has been based on mutual trust, respect and shared interest. One of the key strategic interests that India has in its relationship with Russia is in the field of defense. India was reliant almost solely on the British and other Western nations for its arm imports immediately after independence. But this dependence weaned and by the 1970s, India was importing several weapon systems from the USSR, making it country's largest defense importer for decades when it came to both basic and sophisticated weapon systems. In fact, it has provided some of the most sensitive and important weapons platform that India has required from time to time, including including nuclear submarines, aircraft carriers, tanks, guns, fighter jets and missiles. At the present moment, there are two major defense deals between India and Russia. First and most significant is the deal to buy five units of the state-of-the-art S-400 Trump air defense system. It is among the most advanced in the world. Similarly, the second one just signed a deal to manufacture around 6 lakh AK-203 rifles at a factory in Amiti. This doesn't end here. The first submarine India ever got was also Soviet. In fact, the first Foxtrot class submarine bought from the USSR entered Indian service in 1967 as INS Kalvari. Russia has also been one of the main exporters of fighter aircraft to India, including hundreds of Sukhoi and MiG jets. In current scenario, Russia continues to be India's largest arms supplier, even though its shares of Indian defense imports fell from 62% to 45% between 2017 and 2022. Because India is becoming self-reliant and also importing from West as well, to advance its defense with the help of high technology. Not only this, both nations share economic interests as well. Both countries have been keen to leverage their respective strengths to enhance economic cooperation. For this, the two countries intend to increase bilateral investment to 50 billion US dollar and bilateral trade to 30 billion US dollar by 2025. One of the key examples of India-Russia economic cooperation is in the field of energy. Russia is a major producer of oil and gas. Both are natural partners for energy collaboration where India imports 85% of its oil, while Russia is one of the largest exporters. This has created a natural synergy between the two countries, with Russia supplying oil and gas to India at favorable terms. In addition, India has invested in Russia's energy sector with Indian companies partnering with Russian companies in joint ventures to explore and develop oil and gas fields in Russia. Third reason is multipolar world. Both Russia and India support the concept of multipolar world, an idea shared by China and many others. This vision supports the coexistence of multiple powers and possibilities in the international system, a collective security that is inclusive. It supports greater regionalism to foster common regional interest. It supports negotiated settlements and the possibility of independent foreign policy. And also, the international decisions be made through bodies like the UN, which should be strengthened, democratized and empowered. It suits a rising Russia, which sulks its loss of great power status, and a rising India, which aspires for a permanent seat at the UNSC and enhanced status in the global arena. It is not a coincidence that all Cold War institutions that Russia inherited as a successor state to the Soviet Union, such as the Comic-Con and the Warsaw Pact, have collapsed. But the US-led Cold War regime remains intact. NATO not only remains but has also been strengthened and touches the Russian borders. The US walked out of the anti-ballistic missiles treaty. The US constantly critiques Russia on its democracy. It also challenges Russian influence in Central Asian republics, its policy on Iran and most of all, its aspirations with China for a multipolar world. Anti-Americanism in Russian foreign policy is not as dogma. It is often a need. India has to balance 
balance itself between Russia and the US, both of who look up to it for the cooperation and engagement. So this is it. Both West and India have their reasons and national interest. Although we see there is a drastic difference compared to India. The support was also received from Russia because India was not a threat at that time, not even today, because India maintains neutrality and what USA does particularly interfering in other countries like you can see Iraq invasion was came out as a failure after 20 years. So I hope so you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from us. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. See you next time.